Hello, in this video I am going to show you how you will install MongoDB Combos and uh, how we can access uh, my yeah my database. So I know MongoDB Combos and try it now, try it, try free. Mm, uh, it's a MongoDB address. I don't need MongoDB address. I need only the MongoDB Combos. Combos, so I said everything is fine. So I am just downloading that now, right now. And uh, during that time, I need to make sure my actually I am running my MongoDB as a Docker. So right now in Docker window, I can you can see that um, my Docker is up right now. So there is nothing to worry, I guess. Let me see whether it's, I can connect directly from my MongoDB Combos to the Docker. Okay, so I'm just adding that into my application and right now I am trying to access my Combos. Opening that one. Yeah, there is some tutorials about that one. I'm not interested to look on that one. Get started. Start using. No connection. So actually connect. Yeah. So right now you can see that. I'm connected to my uh, localhost 27017. That's mentioning my Docker, and uh, right now I have my database. This is my own database that I created uh, yeah, yesterday, so I can access that without any problem. So basically, the Combos part is very easy, and uh, I have four DBs here. Admin core is config and local that are uh, most of them are default this is the only one that I created here and I have a people uh, collection also so this one okay so people collection is code which is the database and people is the collection so I can add data also I guess insert documents even if you can yeah even if you can tie some different document also will work here only key value pairs Yeah, both option is possible add that uh, insert document and they are mentioning whether you need to have JSON or not so I am just mentioning test data and test value so let's see how we will insert that data so right now I got an object ID actually this object ID is very interesting so it's creating based on timestamp collection uh, database name and that kind of thing but it's include timestamp so it, it always be a unique one so right now yeah you can see that i have two collections but uh, that, that's important stuff for mongodb we don't need to restrict it to a certain uh, uh, schema we are we should have a key value pair and we should have a inner key value pair also inside our method so that's where that, that is the way the mongodb combos was so um, in my next video probably i will try to connect my mongodb with spring boot 
so we can see how we will do that in my next video probably after two or three videos um, because I am mixing some of the videos in my channel actually I am adding some front and back and database everything I am uh, yeah, I am doing right now including ja code Java basic questions also so that's all for today so tomorrow probably I will go to how you will connect from Springboard application into Mongolia.